Hello people, here you are with Dan in Essex UK and the main purpose of my channel is to show people how to grow their own fruit and vegetables no matter what size garden, allotment or growing space they do indeed have. So today we're going to be planting out some melons here in the poly tunnel. It's a lovely day, I've got some lovely varieties of melons to show you, so let's do that. Blacktail Mountain Petit Gris de Rhin. Sweet Granite Five Desserts and Bitter Melons So when growing melons there are a few things that you will want to consider. One thing is the temperature. Melons don't like going below 20 degrees C, which is about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So when you're growing melons, if you can create a microclimate of between about 68 and 86 degrees Fahrenheit, if you do that you'll largely increase your chances of success. Keep the growing medium warm and have a growing medium of things like well rotted horse manure or cow manure you can also use vegetable compost ready made compost out of your compost bin which is absolutely brilliant leaf mould things like that excellent really nice nutritious growing medium well draining so if you've got maybe something like clay soil that's very heavy you can consider growing them in containers or really you know digging deep and really making a nice bit of growing medium putting it in so that they can grow within that. So what I've got here is just some standard soil which round here is actually quite sandy so what I'm going to be doing is digging it over a little bit because I only put this poly tunnel up last weekend so it's likely to be a bit compacted so I'm going to lightly dig it and I'm going to lightly dig in a little bit of ready-made compost in order to really enrich that soil. So also with regards to growing melons you want to make sure that the growing medium can be kept warm and a good way of doing this is to put something dark over the top of which the sun can then put its heat into it and then it helps to hold the heat. So if you can you want to grow them in a poly tunnel or a greenhouse or a cold frame or at the very least if you can't have either of those things you can put them up against a self facing wall or something like that in order to help hold the heat a little bit more. The main thing is keep the air in which you're growing them as warm as possible. So down here in the soil I'm going to just dig this over just the top not going to be digging it too deep but just about you know half to three quarters of the fork so I'm going to just take the rake and break up some of these clumps of soil I'm now going to proceed to put the compost down I'm now going to rake it over the top. I'm now going to water it in. So I'm going to be adding an organic granular fertiliser and also some calcified seaweed to start getting their microorganisms growing in order to get some good quality soil because I intend to keep working on this area and planting in it year after year.
So the next stage is to put something down to help hold the heat into the soil and also to help to warm it up. So what I've got here is some bin bags. Now it's great to use these because you can recycle them, you can keep them from year to year and because they're dark it helps to keep the warmth in the soil and it's a very beneficial thing to do. That is now in place. So you could use some of that damp proof membrane, something like that. You could also use straw. But having a membrane down such as this, something that also acts as a weed suppressant, is very, very handy indeed. So we're going to start down here in this corner. Now when setting melons ideally you want them two or three feet apart but uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pack them in relatively tightly because I might remove some of the specimens that aren't as strong as others at a later date. So I have four blacktail mountain specimens here and all in all they've got good roots and they look pretty strong. So what I'm going to do is simply make a hole in the bin bag here like this. And I'm simply going to plant my melon plant in. So I'm going to put it about an inch or so into the ground from where it came out of the compost plug. Just like so. That's one. Like that. I'm going to have another one here. And another one like that. So I'm going to sow them like that the whole way along. There we go, that's the 2020 melon project all planted out. So there's a couple more things you can do. When you water them, water them with tepid water if you can, okay? So, for instance, what you could do is you could get your water in your watering can, put it outside in the greenhouse or the polytunnel, something like that and then water it you know later in the day after it's had time to warm up so maybe if you left it until say six or seven in the evening and then watered the chances of it being warmer than it would have been in the morning are much higher if you can use rainwater and if you're living in a part of the UK or another part of the world where the weather is less favorable then don't be afraid to wait so Let's say, you know, I'm planting them here in Essex now, and we are sort of mid-May time. But uh, if you're in a part of the country where it doesn't get warmer till later, you know, plant them out in early June. They'll catch up, okay? Don't be in too much of a rush. And I generally advise people when growing melons to bring the plants on indoors first and then plant out as opposed to straight sowing. So there we are. Now, with regards to watering, I intend to water these two or three times a week at this early stage and we'll see how the weather goes with regards to the warmth as to how I change that as the season goes and I'm going to be feeding them probably every three weeks or so with a balanced liquid feed. Now if you like my work please feel free to like share and subscribe and of course we can I will be filming videos on the updates of these and I've got a playlist on melons as well if you're interested in checking that one out. See you next time and thank you for viewing Dan underscore home gardens on Instagram.